headed north on Pleasant Ridge Road in Wright County. We're coming up on Tract 5 at the Fusen Conservation Area. 10 acre property. Actually, uh, there's a stake that marks about the southwest corner of the tract. The property actually does come out to the county road. The stakes are set back at the tree line though. So now as we look north, uh, that's tract five on the right side of the road. We went north on DD Highway um, to the end of the highway and it turns into gravel which is where it becomes Pleasant Ridge Road and we've gone about a mile on Pleasant Ridge Road. You can see the sign for Tract 5 up in the tree there. Now this has a fresh approach that the guys put in about a week ago and we've had nothing but rain. So I think it might be a little slick. I'm just gonna be brave and pull up on it anyway. Try that out, should be okay. That should firm up, uh, but unless you have a, a four-wheel drive, you probably want to get a load of gravel hauled in to really firm it up. So yeah, track five. It's on the right. We're, we're parked on the property right now. We're looking north, and that's the power line. The phone is on the west side as well. Now looking south on the road. So obviously the property is on the left. This is the first chance I've really had to get onto Tract 5 to check it out. So I'm a little excited to see what we can see here. You can see the sign which obviously indicates Tract 5. Other than this west end where the power line is out by the road, um, the property is all wooded. From what we could tell on the aerials, I haven't walked, like I said, I haven't walked any of track five. But everything we see shows that it's wooded with uh, all different sizes of trees. You can see some large marketable timber, none of which can be cut until the property's been paid for in full and then you're free to log it if you would like. And uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of about 15 year old uh, oaks and hickories all over the property. You might notice some orange ribbons with uh, black stripes. That's just about the center of the property the guys marked uh, in case they Put in some sights but i'll just walk back toward the east this is one of the uh few properties that borders the fusion conservation area directly borders it which is about 1500 acres of uh missouri conservation land which is open to the public for hunting uh, camping exploring fishing there is a uh a creek on there. There are a couple great caves, large caves. It's early May, but we already have so many leaves out on the trees. Makes it a little, a little shady in here. It's comfortable though. We've got some more large trees. Great location. We're not too far out of Marshfield. We're not too far out of Lebanon, Missouri. We're in Wright County. The county seat of Hartville is to the southeast. Probably the closest towns would be Grove Spring and Niangua, both of which are, are quite small. Um, a couple stores and that's about it. But like I said, Marsh, Marshfield isn't very far, uh, as is Lebanon. And actually, Springfield isn't very far either. I came this way from Springfield this morning. I believe it took a, a little less than an hour. It 
just thousands upon thousands of uh, trees. Beautiful property. property is about 330 feet north to south and then it's about a quarter mile east to west so if you want just a super private property you can put your trail back uh, back to the east for basically almost a quarter mile and you will have a very private property <laughs> This area looks a little more open and it all seems relatively flat the part we've walked with maybe just a little bit of roll to it looks like we've stumbled upon some type of old old trail hasn't been used for quite a while It would definitely take some time to explore the property with all the all the thick trees but it's a good one I said in the in the other videos uh, these these few tracks we were able to get out here on the Fusion conservation area represent what we think are just some of the most unique properties we've had uh, to have direct frontage on the conservation area and direct frontage on the county road and to have power and to have phone and to be close to several nice towns and wooded <laughs> i mean it's they're great great properties so it's hard i just want to keep talking when i'm doing these videos but i feel like i'm saying the same thing but really every one of these tracks out here is is unique everyone's a little different uh, track five looks like it's one of the flatter ones, at least the part we've walked. Look at the topo map, it may get a little more roll to it as you go to the east, which you know, can often make it more interesting of a property. Um, but if you're looking for one that's primarily flat, this is a good one. A few years down the line, all of this medium-sized timber uh, will be marketable. A lot of people buy these properties with the younger timber with the idea that in 10 or 15 or however long you want to wait, however um, however large of, of a timber harvest you want to have, uh, pay for your kid's college or you know, uh, just a, a nice safe savings account. And in the meantime, you actually get to use it, create some memories out here with your kids. Awesome, awesome area for hunting. Wild turkey everywhere. Uh, the same with white-tailed deer. You've got virtually endless hunting opportunities with the Poos and Conservation Area bordering the property. I need to have a compass strapped to my wrist. I get turned around so easily out here. I think I'm heading back to the truck. Some more big trees. Looks like a hickory, I guess. Maybe a white oak. I really don't know. private private property with these uh with these trees once you get back from that county road even 100 feet 150 feet you can't even see the road talk about a nice private place to have a little cabin or a campsite and 
come and use it a few times a year, bring your kids, bring your buddies. There, we're coming back toward the road. <laughs> I can finally see my truck. I don't think we even got halfway back on this property. Very cool, that's tracked five. Oh, and here are some huge white oak trees over here. Nice big trees, jeez. Okay, I'll cut it short, or I'll be out here all day on track five. There you have it. Track five in the Houston Conservation Area. Get it while it's hot. sure what that means. Cool property.